Well, good Friday morning to you, everybody. Who's ready for the weekend? It is take two with Jeannie on this Friday, the 27th day of April of 2018. And I hope that you are gearing up for a few fun days. For most of us who work a Monday through Friday kind of job, Saturday is very appealing. It's a day to have a good time, go to the beach, uh, spend time with family, maybe watch a ball game on TV or something like that. But now think about it for just a minute. When you were a child and Friday, that Friday bell rang at the end of the week with school, you couldn't wait to jump up out of your uh, classroom and make a beeline for the door and start your weekend. Because when we were kids, Saturday had a very huge and big meaning. But in this world we live in today with virtual offices on our mobile devices and uh, and dealing with people around the world where, you know, it, it, when it's Friday in, in Alabama, it's Saturday in Australia. So when you're dealing with, you know, in a global world that we live in now and, um, and different things that we do as grown-ups, Saturday isn't necessarily such a wonderful thing. Saturday is a day to... Get the lawn mowed and get the grocery shopping done and take care of those, those six days worth of laundry that's piled up. And so when we are kids and when we're adults, what's important, what's fun, those kinds of things change meaning. So that's how it is with life, too. A lot of things that we think are important when we're children end up being have a different emphasis or a different meaning once we're grown up. The most important thing, of course, of all of it is to put it in perspective. Now, I like Saturdays, but Saturday, as I said, is also a day to do a lot of chores and errands. I have my Saturdays figured out for the next several, several weeks from now. One day that I'm going to uh, do spring cleaning and one day that we're going to work on the yard and, and one day that we're going to have to go out of town to do something important. And so... um yeah, and Sundays, of course, are always taken up with and, and joyfully taken up with church activities. And a lot of times by midday, I'm ready to just collapse and, and prepare to get ready for a new week on Monday. And uh, so are you prioritizing, right? Are you thinking of, uh, of, of what you can do with your time and do it joyfully, but also Put aside some time to relax and rest and have a fun time, too. You know, even in the midst of doing busy work and doing, um, you know, um, errands and chores and so forth, you could also find time to have joy and uh, and, and do it with a, a big smile. You know, if you have a lot of laundry to do, fold it while you're watching a fun old rerun of an old 60s sitcom or something, instead of just standing in the laundry room and folding with a frown and a scowl on your face. You know, when you're cooking a meal, do it joyfully. Imagine what the other end of that meal is going to look like when you've got smiles at the dinner table and all that effort of you know, me being Italian, rolling meatballs or, or, or cooking sauce or things like that, what it's going to be worth on the other end. So prioritize, boys and girls. Do things with joy and always do it with a smile and always do it so that you can be a blessing to somebody today because you know what? Sadly, you may end up being the only one who is. Hey, join me on my YouTube channel. Please become a subscriber. Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E, S-I-G-L-E-R. And also, please go to our website for our radio station which is wrmz.org and click that listen button and let me say this let me say this while you're doing the things that you're doing and if you are busy and Saturday ends up being a busy day for you tune in to Ram Radio and listen to some nice soothing music as well as some fun old time radio that'll make you laugh and, uh, and, and make your theater of your mind roll on and it'll be something enjoyable to you. Okay? I love you very much. Have a happy Saturday. Have a blessed Sunday. And I will see you, boys and girls, on Monday. I love you all so much. Bye-bye.